Last time on Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3 Challenge. What the hell is that? Wait a minute, I, I don't think I have I seen that sprite before. You know, the info file did say there was some changed sprites. I guess that could be one of them. I really haven't noticed any yet. It's a, oh no, that's a, um. That's a Bowser's Castle fireball. I don't know why it's coming from cannon, though. Those are usually come from off-screen. Wah! Oh, cute. This is... Hold on a second. Is this possible? Yeah, I guess it is. Are those things live? Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Uh... Something wrong here. Something missing. Oh jeez, I've got over the time limit. I'm just gonna have to wrap this up. Well, this has been Doc Sigma. Part 2 of Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3 Challenge. See you next time. Later! And now, on with the show. When I last left off, I was at the end of the level here with no clue what to do. As you see in the original version of this level, there's a Koopa Trooper right here. You stomp him, shell bounces around all over the place, and eventually clears out a path to that pipe. Problem? No Koopa Troopa. So what do I do? Hmm. Oh, what up? Okay. That's kind of neat. There's got to be something somewhere. You know, I want to try something. No, I can't. Don't want to do that. Never mind. So this maybe is there a Koopa Troopa back here somewhere? Am I gonna have to carry a shell all the way through the? Oh! I just have a feeling I'm gonna have to carry a shell all the way through the. Whoa! Hello. Ooh. Oh. No, that's not cool. I bet there's something up there. I bet it's going to be hard to get. Hmm. What? Ah, no? Wait a minute. Something strange about those questions and about those music note blocks. Can't quite put my finger on it, but they don't look right. Why are they changing color? Hmm. You know what? No, oh, what? I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, frig. Can I get on top of this block? I hit it from the side. Oh, you know what? Suicide! Let's try this again from the beginning. I would just use the P-Wing on this stage, but it doesn't seem like that would help my problems any. Oh god, am I going to have to carry him through the whole level? That would suck. Let's see, let's see. Could I do it if I had a raccoon tail? See, I'm not going to be able to carry him through the whole level. That's just not possible. He expires too soon. What if I had a raccoon tail? Could I do it then? Yeah, I probably could. So... Oh, not that. I forgot about that one. I forgot this is in Super Mario World, so I can't throw the shell straight up, either. Corp, come back here! I want you! Thanks. Okay, now we're gonna try this again. I think... is there another power up here? No. Here? Stutterman! Going straight to the devil! 
Starman! Going straight to hell! That was an obscure reference and an incorrect one as well. It's Straw Man, not Star Man. Those look like Coin Heaven blocks. Because so they're the ones that are. No! They're the ones that are a different color. You know, in the original Super Mario 3. In the original Super Mario 3, there were a couple of stages that required you to have specific power ups in order to beat the, just to simply beat the stage. But in each of those stages, there would be a lead, there would be a room you could get to infinitely many times to get that power up whenever you needed it. Because see, in this stage, if you lose the raccoon tail that's handed to you, you're fucked. You got a suicide. Then again, it is. They don't call it hard type for nothing. Wait a second, they don't call it hard type at all, they call it challenge. Get it right, Chris. Ugh. Yep, I was right about the raccoon shell. Wrong about the Cooper shell. One more down. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually do this um, a card matching game, but I'm gonna do it off camera. I'll be right back. And we're back! Got myself some goodies! Oh yeah. Now that's some good stuff. Probably gonna be needing that at some point. But not yet. Oh, two ways to go. Oh, I see. This way's a dead end now. Yep, see? He's redesigned the level. So that you have to do every stage. And look over here. The pathway through the rocks has been opened up. I wonder what the implications of that are. Hmm. Does that mean he's just handed us the Hammer Brother? Wait a second. No. I have a feeling that means that the Hammer Brother with the whistle is gone. Just like the whistle for 1 3 was gone because he eliminated the white blocks. Ah. And I'm guessing he eliminated the whistle from the castle in World 1, but I didn't even try to get that. I have no interest in warping in this game because you know, this is a complete conversion, so it would, be, it would be just silly to not do every single stage. And plus, at this rate, it looks like you have to do every single stage. Which I think is pretty cool. I have no complaint about that. I don't care about those coins. Okay. Now I'm a little worried because usually you could skip the level. Yep, level broken. How oh, cute! Chain chomp right on the card. Sweet. That's clever. Ah yes, time for the desert stage with the angry sun! What has he done here? By the way, whenever I've heard a he, I'm talking about... Excuse me. Whenever I say he, I'm referring to the hacker. The person who made this game possible. I don't even know if it's a he. It could be a they, for all I know. Wee. What the? What the heck? That was some major sprite malfunctioning. Er, er, er. The angry sun turns into a big black angry thing. And that, as they say, is that. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. I'll See you next time on Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3 Challenge, when I shall take on World 2-5. This is Doc Sigma signing off. Later!